Luke chapter 2. At that time, the emperor Augustus ordered that all the Roman Empire should count everyone. That was the first count. It happened while Quirinius was the governor in Syria. All the people went to their hometowns from their families to get counted. So Joseph also went from Nazareth in Galilee, traveled to a city in Judea named Bethlehem. Joseph was from King David's family. So he had to travel there because David was from Bethlehem. Joseph traveled with Mary. She promised to marry him, and she was pregnant. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger. There was no room in the inn. In fields nearby, there were shepherds taking care of their sheep at night, taking turns watching them. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the Lord's glory shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you that is great joy for all people. Today in Bethlehem is born a Savior for you, Christ the Lord. You will recognize him. How? You will find a baby wrapped in old cloths and lying in a manger. Immediately there were many angels praising God and saying, <coughs> Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace for people who have his good favor. The angels then left and went back into heaven. And the shepherds said to each other, the Lord has told us what happened. Let's go to Bethlehem and see what happened. So they hurried, searched, and found Mary and Joseph, the baby, lying in the manger. When they saw the child, they told the story of what the angels had said to them about Jesus. And everyone who heard their story was amazed. Mary, though, remembered all these things in her heart, and she continued thinking about everything that happened. The shepherds went back to the field, went back to their sheep. They gave glory and praise to God because they saw and heard everything exactly the same as the angel had told them. When the angel appeared to them, remember what the angel said. Don't be afraid. I have good news for you message of great joy for all people. Today, your Savior, Christ the Lord, was born in David's city, Bethlehem. And this is how you will recognize him. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. That is an amazing message. That is the story of God's Son becoming human, joining with us. That is good news, as the angel told the shepherds. It is 
good news. <coughs> and not just good news, but good news for you. You notice the angel specifically said that. I have good news for you. And that message is also for everyone. A message of joy for everyone. What? The Savior is born today. The Savior is here. Christ, the one that God promised long ago that he would send his Son to come to save us. Finally, it's happening. Jesus is here. But now, how will you recognize him? Will you see a king, stately glory, sitting on his throne? No. Will you see a king riding a horse, a white horse going to battle? No. Will you see a king, a wise man, sitting in a library? with books, reading, studying, teaching. No. How did he come? In a baby. Wrapped in old cloths and lying not in a bed, but in a place for animals to eat. Lying there as his bed. Hung very humble and poor. Why? So he could live and experience life with you, with me. He came not to be above us, but to come as a servant, humble, to love, to serve, to take away your sins. Even the Christmas story shows his humility and his service. So remember that as you celebrate this Christmas day, remember Jesus is God's Son who came for you to save you and to give you joy with him now and always. God bless your Christmas celebration.